Hello, I'm Nils, okay. director of The Path, okay. a short film using the iPhone 13, supported on the new Ziyun Smooth 5 gimbal. For this film, I wanted to make a surreal mystery with a bit of horror mixed in. We shot over two days, the first being the smoky hallway scene. This was my first experience with the Smooth 5, and I was excited to try a few different modes on it. Axis lock was used for the opening shot, so when I tilted the unit, the camera would stay pointed in one spot. For the insert on the smoke detector, we turned on the POV mode, which was a lot of fun. We also used the ZY Cami app to record, since it was able to give us control of our camera settings. For the second day of the shoot, my brother and I shared the camera roll. Together we decided to try the new cinematic mode of the iPhone, offering a shallow depth of field look. There were a couple limitations to this mode, however. I'll come back to this later. <laughs> I wanted the opening shot to do this kind of barrel roll thing that you see here. The idea behind it is to give a kind of disorienting feel. This is achieved by using the Vortex mode on the Smooth 5, and I love how easy it was to do take after take. The Smooth 5 was so light that it felt like cheating that we were able to get such smooth shots for how little it weighed. Regarding frame rate, we captured what we could in 4K 24 frames, where the shallow depth didn't matter. The rest was shot in cinematic mode at 30 frames per second, or 30p. I can maybe do a rack focus here. The problem with using 30p footage in a 24p project is movement appears to skip. Some clips I could slow down to convert them to 24p, but that left out shots with dialogue, or else they would sound like this. Where the f <laughs> The solution was to convert the footage to 120p, generating frames that fit inside the 24p timeline much smoother than before. A weird byproduct of this, however, was since the computer was making four fake frames between each real frame, its best guess of what it should look like would occasionally be... creepy. The only VFX shots were for the smoke detector. One was to remove the fishing wire from the forest, which took me ages to figure out a way to do successfully. And the other was faking the smoke detector light for the interior scene, which was simple but time-consuming. Regarding sound design, I used Artlist for the music and sounds, and lots of EQ, reverb, and pitch shift for the onset sound we captured, plus the monster's voice. And that was it. In the end, I'm happy with the final product and how painless it was to make. Stripping down and shooting on a phone, coupled with the Smooth 5, was just that, smooth. It was so easy to get what we needed and move on, and if we weren't using the setup, I'm doubtful we would have even gotten the shots we needed in the day. The ease of pulling this thing out of the bag and having all these features is something I'm looking forward to bringing on future shoots. I'm curious to hear, what kinds of things will the Smooth 5 help you create? 